and you're back. And we're here. From out of space. <laughs> with that brown look upon your face. Oh, really? That the song was that racist? <laughs> you gotta go listen to old songs, baby. <laughs> yeah, you know what? I, I am I am culturally deficient, so maybe <laughs> maybe I didn't know it was that racist. Beanadels. Hey, Info Beans. <laughs> Info Beans. <laughs> <laughs> it's another motherfucking Allen Iverson <gasps> crossover episode. Crossover. It's an, it's an Ivan Allerson crossover. Episode. Ooh, Ivan Allerson. God, how much how much did you forget how to say Allen Iverson after you saw Sam say Ivan Allerson? <laughs> it makes more sense that way. <laughs> <laughs> my girlfriend if you don't know what we're talking about my girlfriend once uh i asked her because she we were talking about basketball and then she was like you know like that one guy and then she said his name and i said and i pulled out my phone immediately yeah. and i was like w- say who you just said again and she goes ivan allerson <laughs> and nigga my world broke i didn't <laughs> and and i posted it on, t- on tiktok it went viral, crazy. TikTok. It went viral yeah. because everyone was like I forgot his name. After you say Ivan Allerson, you forget. For some reason, it clicks. Like, wait, how? Do, wait, what the fuck is his name? Because <laughs> yeah. Ivan Allerson is a good name. Ivan Allerson's awesome. Yeah, that's an amazing name. <laughs> Allen Iverson. That it's sounds okay. Ridiculous. Yeah, it's okay. It's not Ivan Allerson. Well, you know what's funny? Allen Iverson is the most dope name in the world until you hear <laughs> Ivan Allerson. Yeah, it's a. It's <laughs> Ivan Allerson is his Stefan Orkel. It's his <laughs> <name>. <laughs> <laughs> but instead of like, it's like he's like super nerdy, but like, you know. Yo, that's such a good fucking point, dog. Uh, oh my god, that's so funny. Uh, but yeah, man, another crossover, dude. I love doing these. Yeah, this is fun. We this have a good fun. one. Set, we have a good one set up for you guys today. Oh, we have a fucking yeah, funny bunny. Six hours of Game of Thrones stuff. <laughs> <laughs> well, we are gonna get into it because you know that last season. I've been thinking about it, <laughs> and it's pretty good. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> I completely turned. Yeah, after months, after almost months. over a year, it's been a year. Yeah, though. God wait, how damn. long? Wait, and it when? It's it's definitely been over a year because like I was wa- I watch I was watching it with people. I was watching it with you. Like I was I was also watching it with people outside of like. Yeah, I remember talking about it with people. Well, we watched the last season together. Yes, we were at the, we were together. Yes, but we also like we're talking about it with other people. Yeah, we were. So it's like it had to, it was definitely pre COVID. Yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know that. It was it was a uh, way pre COVID, right? Way pre COVID. Yeah. Um, I don't I don't, I, can't, I I don't know the time. Because it was before it. the Star Wars movie came out, and I saw the Star Wars movies in theaters. That's a good point. That's a good point. So it had to be like 2018. 2018. Damn, was that long ago? Jeez. That's how unmemorable. Unre- like, see how just easy forgettable it is. I think I think it was early 2019. When like did the show January, start? January, February. The show started when I was in college, so like 2013, 2012, and that's 2012, all. 2012. I thought this shit was like 2011 when this shit started. Maybe 2011. Maybe 2011. Were you in college? Yeah, I, uh, I I first saw it like when it was like like pre Red Wedding is when I was like people were like, "Oh, dude, you gotta watch this." Watch. Yeah. This. So that's yeah. might have been that's might have been when you started it, but that's why I was like, I think it might have that shit might have kicked off nigga in 2011 or some shit. Damn. 2012. Damn. Different world. I know, man. Golly, yeah. such a good first season. No, we're not doing this. No, 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 no. It was an amazing first season. <laughs> no, uh, I'm fine. But stop. Because like, I mean, they kill. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, hey, uh, I gotta ask you this because uh, even though it's so late, but it's funny. Right. But it, I've got the question so many times because people know we're hanging out, and I gotta ask you. Yeah. Hey, what'd you think of it part two? I mean, it just wasn't as good as it part one, dude. It's like he's a spider. What the fuck? <laughs> Why is he a spider? Like a clown is like scary enough. A clown, and he's already his nigga's hands big. <laughs> yeah. His nigga's forehead is scary as hell. Yeah, but this is a spider. It's like I guess, cool. <laughs> you know? Yeah, he did turn into a big ass spider fool. Yeah, I mean uh, it's been a while since I watched it, so I can't give you that in depth analysis <laughs> that y'all want about it part two. They whatever. want it. Yeah, but it's just you know it's just uh, it part one is like an amazing movie. I mean, it is yeah. phenomenal, though. Yeah, and there's, there's suicide a, at the end. Yeah, and there's a reason why people don't really talk about it part two that much. <laughs> <laughs> you know what's crazy? Yeah. So I, uh, on the plane recently, mm-hmm. uh, they had, uh, I don't know where I was flying. It was either to L.A. or to Nashville. Mm-hmm. And they and they had uh, it part two. The, the new, new one. Okay. On their And it was phenomenal, nigga. That makes fun. I, I get that. It was phenomenal. <laughs> also, bro, bro, they got the biggest actors in the world to do that. Yeah, movie. it's like Bill Hader, Jessica Chastain, Jessica Chastain, Jesus. Yeah, nigga, it's like and then uh, other people that I'm forgetting, but it was like where you're looking at the cast, like 
How the fuck did they get all these people for this? And then, but that joint is it's like, oh, they updated it, bro. And yeah. the Pennywise, he's scary as hell in that bitch. Yeah, they they make his teeth all like they sharp. Make, it, it, his head's different shaped a little bit. Mm. His teeth are sharp. As yeah, fuck. yeah, yeah. The, the sharp teeth are really what's really scary. Yeah, because in, in the original joints, his teeth are sharp like at certain moments. Yeah, they're not like always sharp. Well, it's also there's only you know you can do so much more with this story with like the CGI that we have now. Yeah, they could they could yeah. I mean they could do with the I'm sure probably more shit right out of the book. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because right. you have now that you have the CGI and technology. You can make you it look that. like what? You know, or so. you can do what I love what movies do, like a Ready Player One, and take nothing from the book. Oh, right. No, like, take the book, you take the book, and you shred it, <laughs> and then you rearrange it, and then you make that movie. Yeah, it's like, what is this movie? <laughs> Just gibberish. So you read the book, right? Of what? Ready Player One. It's, it's yeah, right there. Yeah, you see yeah. It? You see How, it? yeah, yeah. How it. phenomenal is the book? Unbelievable, bro. Yeah. And then, then when you watch the movie, did you watch the movie after you read the book? No, I saw the movie with I you. I don't know, but I'm saying, did you did you give the movie another chance after you read the book? Yes, I did. Yeah. Well, how did you feel about the movie then? Nigga, if I ever meet Mark, uh, Steven Spielberg, I got to fight that nigga. Yeah. I got to be like, bro, you deserve these hands. <laughs> yeah. You, bop, bop, bop. You just, and he's going to be like, why? <laughs> like, ready, player one. And he's going to be like, I understand. Yeah. It's like, I didn't use the source material. At all. At all. And it's like... Uh, the whole point of the book is not to be this, like, like there's a lot of nostalgia aspects of the book, but he uses these, like, really deep-cut references, so it's not really about nostalgia. Yeah. No one really knows a lot of the... I don't know. I've never even heard some of the games he talks about. never even heard any of that. And then the whole movie is just this weird nostalgia base. They're going through The Shining for some reason. Nigga. It makes ugh, no sense. I hated it. But uh, you know Ready Player Two comes out soon. Really? Or it already came out, but the, there's a book, Ready Player Two. Ooh. Are you... I'm not that... I'm, I love Ready Player One. I, I love Ready Player One. Really? I, yeah, I, I love I, Ready Player One. I feel like the the book ended fine. Sometimes you don't need a sequel, bro. Yeah, uh, but also I respect that it, it, it wasn't like he just came out with a sequel, nigga. It's been how many years? That came out in the early 90s. That's what I'm saying. It's been like 30 years. That's a long time to be plotting on that. 20 years. I'll give you the 30. I'll give you the second one. Fair. And like I like that they like I like those kind of books because uh like Ender's Game, nigga. Have you read all them gents? I didn't read all of them. I've just read the first two. I read Ender's Game and Ender's Shadow. Well, that's not the first two. Isn't that crazy? Ender's Game is the first one. Ender's Shadow is, is like the, the fifth or sixth book. But that's, that's like the first one in the Bean series. Yeah. Yeah, so I've read the first one in each series. Nigga, and I, I've read, I, so I read them, and then I read two of the other giants. Uh, Oh, my God, bro. They're so unbelievable. I like this shit. I like when they continue the story, man. You're, yeah. It's a, it's a sci-fi world. It's a made-up world. So hopefully he thought about it and like put some effort into it. Fair. Fair. You know? So I'm definitely going to give it a chance. Movie, no, I will not get Ready oh. Player Two movie? Oh, my God. Suck my dick off. Oh, my God. I mean, I just can't. The entire movie, he's the first guy in all those years to figure out you can just go backwards in the race. Also, that's stupid. I didn't yeah. like that because the book, it's like it, it was so hard for them to figure out the first thing. The first clue. It was so fucking hard. Dog. Yeah. It was yeah. so hard. And then the next clues were so hard. The book was so fucking good about that, dog. So good about that. Uh, yeah. That, but yeah. It part two, you know? <laughs> yeah. It was a thing that we did. <laughs> in last year. Oh, wow. Yeah. 2020. That's when we filmed that, my man. In September. September. No, we filmed that August. Holy shit, we did film that in August. We filmed it in August. Yeah, September. I was. We were already back in our places. God damn, time flies when you're having fun, huh? Yeah, yeah. Time <laughs> flies when you're stuck in a room for six months. <laughs> time does fly, and no way does that take a toll on your mental health. No, nah, you straight. <laughs> you good, baby. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Niggas get shot every day, B. It's just the whole line from Paid in Full. Yeah. <laughs> that whole monologue. Uh, <laughs> Golly, yo, I am uh, excited to get into today's episode because the last one we did of this a while ago yes. was fun. And we did the uh, we the did best games we've ever watched. The best games we've ever watched. Mm -hmm. So today, like we promised yes. on that episode, yes. today is the worst games <laughs> we have ever seen. But before we get into that, we got to pay some bills. Oh, we got to pay the bills first. You're yeah, right. Bills yeah, got to get paid, yeah. dog. Guys, mm -hmm. guys, guys. Oh, oh. And uh, ladies, too. <laughs> no, no, ladies. <laughs> oh, Just no, the fellas. Ladies. Oh, hey, yeah, ladies. Tune out for this. <laughs> turn, turn it off for this ad. Yeah. Same for you. <laughs> Bitches. Yeah. <laughs> fellas. <laughs> well, well, let's, let's talk a little bit, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Let's get into it, boys. Yeah. Do you like the NFL? I'm sure you do. <laughs> yeah. You naughty man. You're a man. This isn't for women. <laughs> well, if you like NFL players and you like them working out with their shirts off and uh, taking care of their kids yeah. <laughs> and all kinds of fun stuff. And doing their amazing podcast, The Raw Room. 
amazing podcast, The Raw Room. Mm-hmm. Guys, you need to follow a certain young man by the name of Darren Bates. D I Bates? You, I need you to go to your Instagram. Mm-hmm. I need you to hit the search bar. I need you to type in D-A-R-E-N-B-A-T-E-S at Westland Sun underscore 56. A beautiful picture of his mother. Mm-hmm. If you're like, oh, is that who is That's him. Yes. Click Blue, it. Blue check mark. And you send him a message and you say what? The Bean sent you. Or, or the Infidels The Infidels. Center. However you feel like putting it. And yeah. uh, make sure you get him to uh, the pictures of Hassan's feet. Yes. Remember, he has pictures of my feet that you can win on his Twitter. And if he's like, I don't know what you're talking about, just keep hammering it in. That's <laughs> <laughs> right, part of his game. He plays hard to get. Yeah, he, he, he does play hard to get yeah, sometimes. Yeah, he's, especially with my feet because they're hot commodities. <laughs> especially <laughs> in the NFL. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. They're circulating, circulating around the locker rooms. Uh <laughs> Word is that's actually what the Texans gave up DeAndre Hopkins. <laughs> that's the word on the street. Yeah, you won't yeah. tell. Second round pick. That's a <laughs> quote and a running back yeah. <laughs> for the best receiver in football. And I remember because remember how you guys were all like, "That's the stupidest trade I've ever heard." That doesn't make any sense. Not when my feet are involved. That's now it's there. like, oh, mm-hmm. no wonder the Texans makes yeah. such a good franchise. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Because instead of a Super Bowl thing in like a glass case, they have a frame of his <laughs> on feet. my feet. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that team will never win. <laughs> no. That no. team will never, ever win. No. Hey, you got to make your de- your decisions based on football, not what God tells you in your sleep, huh? <laughs> you fucking psycho. <laughs> yeah. Yo, that guy, those guys, they're literally, they're Jerry Jones now. Not Jerry Jones, like, because it's like Jerry Jones is crazy, but everybody gives him that because it's like, well, he did make the Cowboys the Cowboys. I, mean, right. I mean, the Cowboys were already the Cowboys. But, but he, he won three Super Bowls. You got to get that nigga that yeah uh but yeah fucking what have you done texans guy yeah no i would much to be rather have, psychopath i'd much rather have jerry jones and texans guy because at least jerry jones is like all right you think you're doing what's best for the football team the texans guy is like wait what did god tell you <laughs> like that's like, <laughs> like well, just, god told me in a dream that deandre hopkins was the devil <laughs> yeah and you're like okay and well, he was like get that devil nigga out of here yeah well at least jerry jones is like oh this guy's pretty fast he's like hey man yeah. this guy's a, like sells the most jerseys yeah, yeah he's the best receiver in the nfl what am i what are we talking about yeah yeah. let's overpay him yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. That, that would be his problem yeah that'd be they'd overpay. be like hey old lineman you all get paid in lunchables now yeah, yeah. <laughs> no jerry jones would be like oh deandre hopkins you're the best player in football here's a 20-year contract with 80 million dollars a year and you're like wait what and it's like, hey, dude, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Yeah. I mean, this is, <laughs> this, is, this is a lot of money for a 45-year-old man at the end How'd of the How do you feel about Dak Prescott resigning? Um, he kind of, he kind of like... Uh, got he, hurt? Yeah, so he lost all his negotiation power a little bit. He still got a lot of money. He definitely got a lot of money, but... Uh, well, he got he got his bread. Yeah. Um, but you do know, you think he's the quarterback of the future is what I'm asking? He's like, is, he a, is he a franchise quarterback? I think he can be. Is he worth... Um, I mean, I think he is, but is he worth all that money? It's like you want Patrick Mahomes money with no playoff wins? I'm going to tell you something right now. I don't think he is. You don't think he's a franchise quarterback? Nope. Ooh. I think he's a backup. Ooh, you think Dak Prescott's a backup? Yep. And that was before the injury. Suck my Ooh. dick, everybody. Ooh. And I love the Cowboys. I'm like, I love the Cowboys, bro. Because before my best friend got in the NFL, I've always been a Cowboys fan my whole mm. life. And then Darren got in the NFL, and I was like. Wherever Darren goes, yeah, I go. Fuck yeah. yeah. <laughs> Wherever Darren goes. That's my team now. That's why I'm diehard Titans. Mm-hmm. But if you if you talk to me when I met Hassan, I was a Rams. Yeah. yeah. Everybody thought I was a diehard Rams fan yeah. because I was like, well, no, my best friend plays there. <laughs> so yeah. go Rams. Yeah, a bunch of Rams gear. I had all Rams gear. And then he went mm-hmm. to the Raiders, and then he wasn't there long enough for me to get a lot of gear. But no, I, for, one for one year, year. nigga, I was yeah. Derek Carr. You can't tell me Derek Carr wasn't the man. Oh, well, that was the year they, they were Dark Horse Super Bowl contenders, and then Derek Carr got injured. Yep. Yeah. Yep, and we got to see that great game. Yeah, that was a great. We did get to see a great. We game. got to see a great game, and Which Darren we, won the game. We will not be talking about in this episode. No, that is. We'll be talking about the opposite of that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, but uh, my point being, uh, yeah, I don't believe in Dak Prescott at all. Mm. Never did. I don't understand why anyone does. What has he done? Well, he puts up numbers. What has he done? But he hasn't won anything important. That is what you know who else I feel that way about? And yeah. people might not feel it. We'll see what he does in L.A. Matthew Stafford. Hey, I know he's great, blah, 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 dude. I don't give a shit. You haven't done anything. You put up great numbers on a bad team. Like, you haven't done it. I have more respect for Matt Ryan. And Matt mm-hmm. Ryan to me hasn't done anything. I will say this. Staff- but Matt Ryan's done more than them. Yes. Yeah, St- uh, Stafford, uh, the, the reason why people like Stafford is that the dude had, the dude just was Played his heart out for a, a sinkhole of a franchise. And he's tough. I love that about him. Yeah, I, know, yeah. I, I love that who he is. I love yeah. himself. But I'm talking about, like, 
am I impressed with him? I mean, we'll see what he does with the Rams. We'll see. Okay, I, that's fair. But it's like it's at the same time, it's like he played for a franchise that caused arguably the greatest running back and somebody who was on their way to being arguably the greatest receiver to retire early. Yeah. So it's a it, you know it, I, I I will say this if if Stafford did what he did with all the offensive weapons that Prescott has had, then I would be like, okay, Stafford doesn't impress me much. But I I feel like well, let's see what Stafford does on an actual team. Prescott has had a good offense around him for And I know the defense stop. sucks, but like they they they've been they have been good enough where they should have made the playoffs multiple times. Well, they, they, they were they were the number 1 seed when for his rookie year and yeah. they didn't win a game. I know. Yeah, so it's like Yeah, I don't know. I I just I think it's too much money for a guy who it's you're paying winner money for a guy who can who's not going to be your quarterback make in 2 years. you limp into the playoffs maybe. You're going to trade him in 2 years. <laughs> yeah. Well, now you you already have a terrible defense, and you invested all this money on this quarterback who got hurt really badly. It's like, what well, what's the game plan here? Nothing. Oh, that the Cowboys are going to be bad for another like five to six years, and then they can maybe hopefully rebuild. Yeah, and honestly, why are you giving that this much money? He just got he just got a season injuring injury, a bad one. He doesn't have any leverage. Oh yeah, and they gave him all the money, nigga. I I would have built a defense and drafted a quarterback. Get yeah. the fuck out of here. Or I would I'm give me some young blood. Or I would have given him a prove a contract, like been like, look, if you want that money, here's performance escalators, but we have outs yep. at every opportunity to just cut you for no money loss on our part. Yeah, bro, I'm not giving, and I and I'm sorry that I'm <laughs> sorry because you could have got that big deal beforehand, and where I would have given it to him. Yeah. Even though I still didn't believe in him, but I'd have been like, oh, let's see, maybe maybe he Baker Mayfield's, and maybe he fucking like because Baker turned up. Yeah. Yeah, he did. Baker turned up this year, bro. Niggas had to, niggas had to, because at first everybody was like, "Oh, all these commercials and he's not doing shit." But yeah. this year, you had to be like, "No, nah, this nigga can ball." Yeah, he, uh, he, he, that was a good Browns team. They just, I mean, they just were in a, a, a the toughest conference. Yeah, they were. It, they had to go against and, the Ravens and the Steelers. Yeah, and they fought. They fought the Chiefs in the playoffs. They fought them. They fought them hard. They fought them. So you know what I mean? Like, uh, I, I'm everybody was impressed <laughs> with the Browns this year. So, uh, yeah, he hasn't. Dak hasn't done that, fool. He hasn't done anything where I've been. I guess other than that rookie season, but he ain't done nothing since, fool. Like yeah. you, you know, Vince Young had a great rookie season, nigga. Like right. people have great rookie seasons, right? Yeah, yeah. And it's uh, you know, how long is Zeke gonna stay? You know, it's a, he's a running back, and they and have, he's a monster. He's one of the best. He's one of the he's run, top five running backs. Have a shorter expiration date. Yeah. So it's like you're basically saying that it's gonna be Dak and Zeke, and that's how you know. Are you gonna waste Zeke's best years? You, I mean, only thing you have, you do have, you do have some of the best receivers in the game. I'll give you that. Yes, you got some of the best receivers in the game. Nigga, CD Lamb, Amari Cooper, you got some bad. But they should have been, they should have been winning more games with that offense, even the previous year. I know, pre CD Lamb, because they still have Michael Gallup too. They have, like, they have a great receiving core, and they just. <laughs> yeah, we really saw how much Andy Dalton sucked. Yeah. Oh my god. Because it's like, you know what, Andy Dalton really had a chance to be like, oh, man, y'all gave me a good team with yeah. these receivers? I'm going to go in and go ham. Well, he's and QB1, baby. He Go sucks. Bears. <laughs> go Bears, God, QB1. QB1. Oh, my God. They're going to suck, too. <coughs> <coughs> well, ba- Bears can't have a top 10 QB. It's written in stone. That's true. Um, but uh, all that to say, go follow Darren Bates. Yeah. And go listen to the Raw Room podcast. Yeah. And ask about the feet. Ask about Hassan's feet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Hassan, you got a cool T-shirt on. I do got a cool T-shirt on. What, what's that say? It says Korean Zombie. That's pretty cool. Yeah. So you like cool T-shirts? I do love cool T-shirts, dude. And you like? Look at that hat. Ooh, look at this Akatsuki beanie. Ooh, mm-hmm. fancy. Mm-hmm. Akuku <laughs> Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> guys, if you like the kind of style Hassan has on right now, I have a place for you to go www.hiddenvillagecustoms.com Hidden Village Customs. They have the best shirts. Literally all cool animes. This is like their logo. Yeah. Right here. Literally the Naruto. Naruto symbol apparently, I guess. Yes, it's, it's, it's part of Naruto. Naruto. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. But literally, uh, go check them out. They're from the Bay Area. So if you're a Bay Area infidel, you're a Bay Area beaner. Hidden Village Customs on Instagram. Uh, Asan, you've seen some of their stuff. It's really sick. It's dope. It's really cool. Yeah. It's really cool. So go check them out. If you like anime and like if you like uh, like if you want to mix the, like they have cool stuff where like they'll mix like you know motherfucking you know uh, Joe Montana and like you know fucking piccolo or some shit you know what i mean like yeah, they yeah. Can do a bunch of cool shit like that it's really <laughs> dope so check them out uh hidden village customs uh on all platforms on social media hidden village customs on their website www.hiddenvillagecustoms.com and get yourself a great t-shirt and just tell them what us on tell them the beans or the infidel sent you just tell them that man just yeah. show them some love bro that's what we do in the bean mafia and i'm sure in the infidel uh, world as well yes is we show yo bro if you support our pods 
we're going to tell our listeners to go show you some love, man. So go show them some love, bro. They're the ones that are keeping us, like, so we can just focus on bringing you guys more episodes. Yes, content, content, content. So, but these are the people paying that. for yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, So go show them some love, guys. Uh, EA Sports. Yes. You want to kick this one off, buddy? All right. You want to get started? What are we doing? <laughs> we're doing bad games. We're doing we're the doing worst games we've ever watched. Ever watched live or on television? Yes. Um, and I'll start with the with a classic. Um, I think this is widely recognized as at least in the 2000s as probably the worst Super Bowl. Yep. I'm sure this is probably the worst football game most people have seen other than specifically for one group of people. Right, right, right. Then it's the best game they've ever seen. Right, right. If you're a Seahawks fan, you love this game. <laughs> if you're anybody else, you were like, this is a boring game. And if you're a Niners fan, you absolutely hated this game. Ooh, t- talk to me, yay. <laughs> this game was, we're talking about Seahawks Broncos all the way, what, what year? Super Bowl XLV I, I, I. Oh, man. That's 48, I believe. I just said that. That's uh, No, you didn't. I did. Um, actually, technically, you did. Um, <clears throat> it was a rough game. And this was the game after the interception. The Crabtree, the sorry-ass receiver. Oh, that which was awesome. Yeah. Uh, I mean. So that's why this Super Bowl had to double hurt. Yeah. Because it's like. Oh, that, that could have been, been y'all beating the shit out of the Broncos. That, was the su- that game was the Super Bowl. Oh, yeah. That game was the Super Bowl. The Niners, Seahawks. It ended in conflict. It was yeah. everything. It was a rivalry. It was, it was a rivalry. Last minute, last minute victory. It yeah. was it I mean, was no, back and forth game. Kaepernick threw the most perfect ball ever. Right. Richard it, Sherman it, literally made just per- made it. made the most perfect play ever. So you can't be I, 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 anyone who's like, oh no, you can't blame. Kaepernick. That was a perfect ball. That was a perfect Crabtree ball. Crabtree was right there. Yeah, it was just nigga. Richard Sherman made that play. That was a great. Uh, game. I've uh, been watching that whole game. What a what a yeah. That was a great game and the opposite of this. The game. Opposite of this game. I mean. This game from the jump was just awful. Oh, this game started with the, the mishap. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The first I'll, bring, I'll bring it up. I'll bring it up right here. Because that's how the game – that was changed the whole element of the game. This was the first play of the game. And this changed the whole element of the whole game. It's snapped over the head of Peyton Manning. A flag is down, and the ball's out of the back of the end zone. It's a safety to start this game as Manning wasn't running. Illing emotion. Offense number 18, moving forward to the snap. Oh, bro. You can see it right there. And you know what's weird? You can feel it. Because yeah. even watching the game, it was like, hmm. Why did, why did this Never happen like this? Never seen a Super Bowl start like that before. Why did this happen like this? Yeah. They're already on a completely separate page. Yeah. He's up there making adjustments to the line, and the ball is snapped. What, what happened in Denver during those two weeks? I don't know. I also the mental collapse. Yeah, the team mentally collapsed after that one moment. It was over. Over. It was over. Uh, I also, I don't know if you have it pulled up. Uh, uh, my favorite highlight of this game. I look at uh, it. is the kick return. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was because because of course you're like, well, the second half can be anything. And and I will say this. Mm-hmm. I remember watching the game, and even though I knew it was over, everybody's watching. I remember thinking, it is Peyton Manning. Right. I remember th- you had you had a little bit in your mind of like, nigga, it's Peyton Manning. And I know he's down, but, you know, and of course, nobody ever came back in a Super Bowl like that until we seen Tom Brady do it later. Right. But in your head, you're like, man, if anybody could do it, it would be this motherfucker right here. And and then the second half started just like this. And this is Percy Harvin's like second game as a Seahawk, too. I know. He was hurt. And here are the current temperatures. Oh, my God. So I remember I remember being. Uh, yeah. I think I was at a party watching this. Yeah, I was at a party, too. Were we at the same party? No, no, no. We, uh, uh, I, I, this was with my college friends. <clears throat> and then I, I remember thinking, like, okay, because I remember thinking, like, all right, it's a blowout, but let's see what let's see what happens. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then I think I remember, I, I, I think after the next score, I just left the party. I just went home. I was like, this is fucking. Oh, sucks. after the next score, it was all over. because I mean, yeah. after this, it was over, over. It was yeah. this was the nail in the coffin, right? Completely. And one kick return for fifty-eight yards in his one regular season game. 22 to nothing. So it's like, okay. But the Seahawks have the ball first. And here he goes. Whoop. Whoop. Gone. Make that 29 nothing. With the third quarter just started. I mean, if you're the Seahawks, you're like, damn, we're feeling... We oh, this, this was we you, you were already ball. feeling unbelievable because you were like, we won this game. Yeah. And then that we, you everyone I'm sure in Seattle was like, celebration. Yeah. We can get we can get completely hammered and not watch us anymore. This is all just fun now. Yeah, look at Peyton Manning. Peyton Manning looks the, I mean, uh, defeated. It was, that was a defeat. That was a defeat. 
Insane. Because how good would they have felt? Regular kick return. Right. They get a three and out. You get the ball and you score. You score. It's twenty-two like, seven. Okay, okay, okay. This, this might be, we can make this a game. We have a defense. We have Von Miller. We got Peyton. I mean, this is the defense that wins two years later and shuts Cam Newton best offense down. best offense in the NFL that year completely down. down. Yeah, and they just folded. It was just so. It was just so boring. Um, it was also interesting to see one of the greatest. I mean, Peyton Manning. It, I mean, he would be the greatest quarterback if ever if it wasn't for Tom. He would right. literally be. I mean, it's, so I say. It's, I say the argument now is Peyton and Joe for right. number two. Right. That's the debate. Mm-hmm. Who would you put two, Peyton or Joe? I mean, like it's hard for me because obviously I have never seen Joe play, but I'm like Niners, of course. So but I, you've seen Peyton play. I've That's seen the, Peyton play. Um, you know the 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 reality is that in this situation, Joe did not choke like this. No, no. Peyton, 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 Peyton's team choked. It was not Peyton. This was. A, this was but he's Peyton, a part of the team. No, Peyton, Peyton threw a couple interceptions in this. Yeah, I mean, this was a team choke. Yeah, no, yeah, this yeah. Peyton, Peyton choked. Hey, Peyton choked. Defense Everyone choked. choked. It's not like the special team choked. It's, it's it's not like it's not like the Super Bowl this year where Mahomes balled his ass out and his team let him down. No, Peyton choked. Yeah, you're right. Mahomes did ball his ass out. Peyton choked. This is part, he's part of the choke. It's, a t- it's not just Peyton, but you're no, you're a thousand percent right. Yeah, you're a thousand and, Mon- percent right. Mon- and on the biggest stage, Montana never choked. Facts. Yeah, Montana's probably two, Peyton's three. Yeah, you know? And then Drew Brees might be four. Got to put Drew Brees somewhere yeah. in there. You okay? I like he's Drew done. He's officially four. done now. Yeah, he's done. He only won, That's how hard it is to win a Super Bowl. Drew Brees only won one. He only went to one. Yeah, but he was the best quarterback in football pretty much every season. Yeah. It was either him, Tom, or Peyton that's for, crazy. for 20 Tim, straight years. Same, same with Rodgers. Yep. Only been to one. Crazy how hard that how hard it is to get there. And when Rodgers is done, he'll be in that argument with Drew Brees as top. Mm-hmm. Like who you know, I think he'll be in that top. Five who do you think argument. is better, Rodgers or Brees? You think Brees? Brees. Is better, I yeah. mean, Brees is Rodgers still has a way to go. It's like that's comparing like who who's better. Like uh uh, you know, I'm trying to think like who's better between. Are you trying to say like they're just different generations because they're not? I would say they're contemporaries more than like. You think so? Yeah. Drew Brees and Aaron. Because I say Drew Brees' contemporaries are for sure Peyton and Tom. Okay. They all they were they all had on the top of the run at the same time, the top of the mountain, pretty much, where they were all battling for Super Bowls. You know. I mean, the year after Brees won, Aaron won. Yeah, and then Aaron was the that dude. Yeah, I guess Aaron is a part of the. the you gotta. Even Aaron's also like he's he, a little he, younger. Aaron's Aaron's like thirty eight. Is he? I'm very certain Aaron is like almost forty. He is right there. Aaron Rodgers looking it up. He's thirty seven. Damn. Yeah, my nigga's only got like two to three more years. The, I mean, the fact that he's been playing this long is already ridiculous. Yeah, yeah. Um the the difference is Aaron sat behind Brett. Someone. Yeah, whereas Drew Brees was constantly starting since San Good Diego point. days. I didn't think about that. Yeah, that's why I feel that way about Aaron. My bad. You're right. Yeah, You're right no, again. You're a- right again. A- Aaron is definitely a contemporary of. Well, guys. no, I uh, Drew Brees is greater. Okay, I, I mean I'll accept that. The numbers. Yeah, yeah. And the accuracy is unmatched. <sighs> Drew Brees is the most accurate quarterback of all time. That's a fair point. Drew Brees is insane. The peak Drew Brees was I don't I, yeah I don't know how he only got to one. What was going on? I well, mean, what do you mean? You know what was going on. Oh, the defense. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and and then and then uh, he, and then the worst call in history of football. Oh, the pe- the person the pass interference. That's the way. I mean, that's uh, that's top worst calls. If we, we should do one of those that one episode. Top oh worst yeah, calls. top worst. That'll calls. That'll be a fun one to do. Yeah, we'll yeah. do top worst calls. Yeah. But that I mean, I you'd have to put that up there in the in the categories of worst calls. In yeah, the history and then of the sports. and then the NFL did this weird thing where they like they reviewed pass interferences the next year, but they'd never uh, overturn any of them. Yeah. Even though some of them were clearly wrong, it's like a giant fuck you to the fans for whatever yeah, I don't reason. Know. That one was stupid. Yeah, that was unbelievable how they didn't call that. I'm glad the Rams lost that Super Bowl. Um, that was unbelievable how they didn't call that pass interference. Yeah. So, yeah, bro, that Super Bowl sucked. <laughs> yeah, it was that's... awesome, though. It was awesome to kind of watch a swallowing like that, but not like literally. You know what I mean? It was kind of yeah. like, oh, I guess this is I'll, cool, but whatever. I'll take I'll take a drubbing like that in a championship game. Don't give me a good Super Bowl, bro. Give me a good Super Bowl. I'd rather have a good Super Bowl. It, you know, like – I guess you go good, bad, good, bad. That's generally what happens, right? Like, or this, sometimes a couple good or a couple, couple bad. I mean, yeah. if this if this year, if it wasn't for the storylines, this year would have been a bad Super Bowl. If it wasn't for like Mahomes and if it wasn't for Brady, oh yeah, like, the storyline made it unbelievable. The storyline made it what it was, but the game itself was not very good. No, uh, if you were to, if you were to black out everyone's names, no, the Bucks the had their ass. Yeah, it was uh, the Bucks had their number, bro. Period. Yeah. Period. Point blank. Tom Brady and them, them niggas had their number. Yeah. 
It was it was insane. That Bucks defense was something else, and that mm-hmm. that Chiefs O line was. Oof. I mean, we talked about it last time. They, the, you know, they gotta get they gotta get it back. They gotta yeah. get the O line back. That's the most important part of that team. Big facts. Outside outside of Mahomes, obviously. Um. All right. Let's move on to your first one. What happened here? All right, there we Ooh. go. I My first one is a game that I was actually at. Mm. I saw this game live in person. Mm-hmm. Uh, what was the year again? It was 2004, so I was 13. Yes. This was, wow, yeah, April 25th. April 25th. That was almost exact. I mean, it's April 15th that yeah. when we were recording it. That's almost exactly when it was. <laughs> Crazy. Yeah. Uh, you see where it says the song? Pyramid Arena. This was the last season that the Grizzlies had at the Pyramid before they moved to the FedEx Forum. Okay. This was the last season we were in these, the throw, the, the this, the, this color. Yeah, the uh, the 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 gr- actual Grizzly Bear. The actual Grizzly Bear with the green. Before with the ba- we- with with the basketball, which mm-hmm. I will say this. This logo is amazing. Nineties NBA logos, way better than current NBA logos because this is nineties early two thousands logo. Yeah. Way better than the current NBA logos. Oh yeah. The Raptor playing basketball, for the Raptors. Amazing. You know, like yeah. The the sort of the star rhythm, the pinstripe Houston Rockets with a rocket going around the earth. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was amazing. Yeah, those were cool. The Utah Jazz Blue the Mountains. Utah Jazz Blue Mountains. That's was amazing. quite possibly, arguably, in my mind, the greatest uniform uh, of all some time. Some sucked, and they're better now. Like the Denver Nuggets one was terrible. Well, yeah, the the weird rainbow one. That was awful. Yeah, well, the Nugget, the but even even the early. 2000s, what they had the blue one, the yeah, yeah, ones, those those were really okay. They got better. They've never had good uniforms. Yeah, they got better with that one, but then they finally, the, now they're a little bit better, but they still suck a little yeah, bit. Yeah, I don't know. There's something about the whole nuggets that's hard to like be cool. <laughs> you know, it's a nugget. <laughs> oh, we're the Denver Nuggies. Like, yeah, okay. <laughs> okay, well, how badass is that? <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I was at this game. Mm-hmm. This is what made this game hurt more. So you got to remember, I my, my family had season tickets to the Grizzlies, mm-hmm. uh, the, all the pyramid days. Right. So when we got there and they got to the pyramid, like when they got to the pyramid and shit, like we had season tickets. So I saw all those seasons leading up. This was our first ever time in the playoffs. Okay. Ever. Okay. So this was a big deal. The biggest deal of all time. And we, what seat are you guys? Uh, mm-hmm. what seat? Are you guys an eighth seed or are you guys a seventh seed or? Are you- or you guys like higher than that? Do you, Ooh, know, do you remember? Can you can you look it up real quick? Uh, okay, okay, yeah. I don't remember. I want to say, I want to say we were a f- fifth seed. Okay. Well, yeah. Continue to throw while I look it up. But yeah, I want to say a fifth seed. Um. I, so, I it was the biggest deal in Memphis that we had finally made the playoffs. You got to remember uh, our team. We had a young Pau Gasol. We had uh, James Posey, who went on to win a title with the Celtics. Yeah. You know. Uh, oh, your executive was Jerry West. Yeah, and our coach was Hubie Brown. Jesus. Oh, dude, we were a fucking young, up-and-coming franchise yeah, yeah, yeah. that was, like, really exciting. Yeah. You know what I mean? We, we were, yeah, that was, were Jerry West was our president. You were sixth time. seed. Uh, but that's how, that's how we were able to get Pau Gasol and, mm-hmm. like, build our team. Okay. Bonzi Wells, you know what I'm saying? Like, we right. had a – if you look at our, our squad, we had a good squad. Right. Um, uh, Shane Powell, Battier. Sh- Shane Battier, young Shane Mike Battier. Mike Miller. Mike Miller, young Mike Miller. Uh, of course, James Posey. Stro Miles Swift, the Stro Show. Mm. I don't even know if you would do this. <laughs> Uh, Earl Watson was great. Got an autograph thing of him in my mom's garage. Still, the, the great uh, R.I.P. to the great Lorenzo Wright. Yes. Uh, who was a star? You know, he got. He's from Memphis, so he was made like him. He was a everything. Uh, oh my god, that's why when he yeah. passed, that was so sad. And then of course Jay will. Right. So oh, he, white chocolate. Yeah, white chocolate. So we had a we had a fucking had a squad, team. bro. Who we had a really guy? good squad. Uh, anyway, we're six seed. We okay. make it to the playoffs. Uh, San Antonio's three seed. Mm-hmm. Uh, and they, can you go to the. The series, where's the series at? So I, we can, you know, we can look at the series here. We can go to the playoffs here. Oh, sorry, here I got, it, I got it. First one. Oh, it's not. Why is it not popping up here? Here, here. We can look at the series like this. On uh, be- so here's the series. Game there one. There it is. There it is. Okay. Yeah. So game one, absolutely destroyed. That's that's what I wanted because I remember this. I right. remember how exactly how it went. Game one, we destroyed. The final score, ninety-eight seventy-four. Right. San Antonio, Tim Duncan just lay, lay waste to our buttholes. Right. Our first time in the playoffs. And you know what? I wasn't mad. I remember watching that game on TV, me and my dad. We weren't even – we were like, you know what? They got to get those jitters out. It's fine. They're playing a championship-level team with the Spurs. Right. You know, they got to remember, 4 Spurs, they're literally about to win a championship the next year. Right. So that's how good the Spurs team is. Uh, next game, game two, 70-87. to 87. Yeah. Now, that one, it hurt. Yeah, that was now another, like, another beatdown. And you know the series is over. Right. We're not going to be – this team is just too good. Right now we just gotta we gotta claw and we gotta we gotta show we gotta win a game. Yep. Yeah. Now game three, I know this isn't what this episode's about, but I gotta mention this because this leads to game four. Game three, I was at. Okay, sold out. 
yo, I remember this so vividly. And there's video of it. I might, me and my dad talking about this video of this. You see the Grizzlies guys coming out because it's their first ever home playoff game yeah. in the pyramid, right? Yeah. And they come out. This is for warm-ups. And I, me, me, everybody was there early. I remember this it's like a fucking yesterday, dog. My heart gets excited thinking about it. It was completely sold out just for them coming out to their warm-ups. Every seat, Ooh. not a not a empty seat. The Grouch House already, just for them coming the out to a warm up. Towel. The Grouch House. <laughs> you think we were playing, dog? I love that. I love. Oh, dude, they said that on the on the towel. You know, it had the logo and the yeah. Grouch House. Yeah. <laughs> dude, and I mean, I remember those guys coming out, bro. And you, bro, you could feel the wind of nineteen thousand towels. Yeah. <laughs> and and the energy of a city. This is our first, like, yo, we don't give a fuck about mm-hmm. that. We're down 0-2. Yeah. We don't give a fuck about any about that shit, nigga. This yeah. is our first playoff game, and we're going to let these guys know, like, thank you. Yeah, yeah, You got us here. Yeah. That was the energy. It was so, I mean, bro, from the, fr- I've never heard a place game three, every score, every time we scored, right. the loudest arena you've ever heard in your life. Right. This, this is why sports makes me cry. Yeah, it's, it's I remember meaningful. that feeling. Yeah, man. yeah, that's true. That's really meaningful. It meant so much to yeah, this. Yeah. You felt it. I mean, bro, you because you know I'm, like, 20,000 already for the warm-ups? Yeah, that's insane. That means, oh, it, like... Oh, they're ready for this game. Let's go. Yeah. And we lost 95-93. It was Ooh. one of the greatest basketball games I've ever seen. Tim, fucking Tim Duncan. That son of a bitch. <laughs> he does his thing at the end. Mike Miller comes down. No seconds left. Shoots it. Hits the back of the rim. Bounces up. Bounces off. Ooh. Buzzer beat. It would have been a buzzer beater game three. We lost 95-93. It would have it been to win the game. And, and The anti Kawhi. And me and my dad talked about how if that would have hit... Mm-hmm. I think they'd have tore the building down. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because we were – the ruckus that was happening right. without him hitting it and how we – yo, I remember us still cheering them off as they left the court. Damn. They fucking took the Spurs to the break. Damn. It was one of the most beautiful things ever. But that's not what this episode's about. Yeah. <laughs> I know that was all great. Yeah. But let's get to why we're here. Okay. Game four, a beautiful April 25th night in Memphis, Tennessee. Yeah. I go there with my dad. I'm thinking, oh, man, you know what? They're going to win one tonight. Because of last last night. Right. That's what I'm thinking because I'm a young kid and I don't know sports. I don't know that Tim Duncan and those guys are going, oh, we have to let these sorry-ass Grizzlies know. Yeah, who they're really <laughs> messing with. <laughs> that that was a mistake yeah. two nights ago, you bitch-ass Yeah, you Grizzlies. should have killed us when you had us down, you, you dumbass. You fucking – that's why you're yeah. not playoff-ready team. Yeah. Bro, they came out – I remember the same thing, same thing, where everybody's there before the warm-ups. Growl howling. Growl howling, nigga. <laughs> everybody. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And, and – I remember the last game, it started, it was a back and forth game. Right. Right, game three. Right. This game was the Super Bowl you just described. Okay. <laughs> I don't think we scored <laughs> <laughs> the first quarter. <laughs> like, the, the score is 110 to 97, so clearly right. we, we got some points at the end. Right. But that was at the end. Oh, I mean, you're down 11 in the first quarter. So you were, oh, so I remember correctly. Yeah, yeah, you're down 11 in the first quarter. You let them score 32 in the first, which is a lot of points in a quarter. Damn. Damn. Second quarter stays the same. Third quarter pretty much stays the same. And fourth quarter, yeah. And then it's from then on that the score stayed the same. Yeah. It was just it was never. But I, I think the like the beginning of the first quarter, it was like eleven and nothing immediately. You yeah. know what I mean? What did, okay. what did Tim and Tony have? All right. So Tony had uh twenty nine. Tony destroyed us, and Tim had twenty six. I remember Tim killing us, and then Tony, Tony, but Tony destroyed had us. Twenty nine and thirteen two, assists. Thirteen assists with two steals. With two steals. Yeah. And then you know Tim was Tim. Um, Bruce Bowen locking everybody up. Yeah. Uh, Boy, yeah Manu, Robert, Ori, Manu, Robert Manu, Ori got 14 off the bench. Manu had 10 off the bench. Damn, Manu didn't even have a great game. No. Uh, Charlie Ward was on this team? God damn. Charlie Ward's been Well, around. this is about to be a championship team. Yes. Team. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, they were just – you could, they were they were great, but they were not yet there yet. They were yeah. one year away from being like, oh, that, you, how are you going to beat the Spurs? Damn. Damn, they really, yeah, they really took it to you guys. They took it to us. Who did good for us that day? Oh, James, James Posey had a great 20, game, and then Powell, Powell, Powell did his thing. But that uh, was it. Uh, what's it called? Jay Will at thirteen and eight, and then off the bench, Stro. Oh, Stro Show had a good game. Earl, Earl, Earl Watson. Oh, I'm sorry, that was it. Earl had a good game. He had a good game, and that was it. But we had nothing and no help. Yeah. No, and I mean, just the deflation of how loud it was from warmups and that game four. I remember because game three, it, it only got louder until we lost right. and we cheered him off the court still. Right. Like on some uh, cool running shit. Yeah. yeah. You know? So like, yeah, this is bigger we than the loss. We respect y'all. Yeah, we yeah. Respect, the fact y'all did this, hell yeah. Yeah. Uh, and there was game four. It was the only time it was loud was warm up. The Spurs was, the Spurs literally were like, hey, let's let's keep it quiet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shh. Guys, let's keep it down. <laughs> <laughs> because it wasn't even like, like we cheered him off at the end of game four, but it was, it was, and it, it was still that, but that was the only time we got loud was the warm ups. Right. And then when they walked off in game four, because I remember that all the players stayed and like, Gave us like that because it was an emotional 
It was emotional, man, for the whole city. This people were crying. First, it was first, our first, and we were a new professional playoff game, really. And it was so exciting. We were we were young still. We're like, yeah. oh man, and also this team was. We were like, oh, this team is like a young. Like we're gonna be back. Yeah, and yeah. we were. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So, perennial playoff team for a long time. Long time after, because yeah. of this team. Yeah, yeah. Because of this team, so that that meant a lot, man. <sighs> All right, we'll move on to Hassan's game two. My game two. This will be a. This is a regular season game. Okay. I remember watching some of this at home, watching some of this at a Chinese food place that me, my, we had to go get lunch, did lunch with like my parents' friends. Are you pops? There. Yeah. Okay. Um, and then listening to this game on the radio. Mm-hmm. And so you had every experience of this game. Every experience of the game. It was one of the worst games I've ever watched and listened to. Um, it sticks in my mind because of just how hilarious the game was. Um, what year? What this year? This is two thousand five. So okay. this is the this is the first year the Niners draft Alex Smith. This is rookie year. This is rookie year. But did he start? Yes, okay. he started immediately. But Alex Smith and our backup Ken Dorsey of University of Miami fame both got injured. Damn. So we're running our third string quarterback, a guy who early in the year won, be, uh, was a world champion like rodeo guy. Interesting. Yeah, named Cody Pickett. Great name. Yes, Cody Pickett. And just to give you a stat line, this is Cody Pickett's stat line of the game. At the end of the game. He's one for 13 for 28 yards. And one pick, I see. And one pick, yes. <laughs> so the, the, yes. the one completion was an interception. <laughs> yeah, that'd be funny. <laughs> and it's, hey, it's not like Kyle Orton on the other side did any better. He was eight for 13 for 67 yards. Oh, so this is a middle school game, not even a high school game. No, I, I will say this. The score is 17-9. Um, the only the touchdowns coming. But was on, it close or not close? It was. Did the Bears have y'all the whole game, or was it like um, ever close at all? So in the second quarter, we had a three nothing lead, and then the Bears returned a hundred and eight yard field goal miss for a touchdown, and then it was over. Devin Hester? No, this is before. This is pre Hester, by a guy named Nathan Vasher. Oh, and then the, so from that moment on, they had yeah. Y'all. But as I'll show you in a second. The fact that they even attempted a 52-yard field goal is just a show of incompetence. Because oh, that, that had to be the play of the game that you're about to pull up. Well, I'm not even going to pull up the play of the game because that's not what's important about this game. This is what's important about this game. You'll see. You'll see. It's, it adds to the comicus of the game. For the Windy City of Chicago, which was everything and then some. Gusts up to Look what? at this wind. 40 miles oh. Out this is pregame warm-ups for the game between the Bears and the 49ers. Watch, watch this, this field watch goal this attempt goal. by Robbie Solid Fool to the Bears. You think it's windy? The goalposts are moving. And the kick is up. It's on the way. And it's... What? Oh, that's not even the kicker's fault, dude. That's not the kicker's fault. That's God. That's God going not to there. So... <laughs> oh, this is this one. No, no, that, it'll, it'll come in a second. But like to try a 52-yard field goal in those conditions is insane. That is, it's insane. Um, we'll, we'll move ahead a little bit. And Damn, Cedric Benson got hurt. Cedric, oh yeah. Oh, this is just a bad game all around. He tries to try to do a fake. Nope, that doesn't go. They do last play of the half. No oh wow, he catches it though. I remember seeing this. I remember watching this. Ooh, that, that, that move was unbelievable. That spin was unbelievable. That Basher spin. Oh, you see, uh, I don't know if you saw this. Your kicker would have been able to stop him, but he got he didn't want to get hit, so he gave up on it. This was that record. So this, wow, the, I love this about sports, yeah. is that the worst game ever can still have one of the most memorable moments. Yeah, I mean, this, is, this, this was a big highlight. And it, it was, was one of the most memorable things in sports history until yeah. it broke. I broke. Yeah, it was insane. The, um, the, uh. Tillman was a beast. Yeah. The. Peanut. The punt returner for the Bears in this game fumbled three times on punt returns. Once in the red zone, Niners yeah. were not able to score because obviously they went, the quarterback went one for 13 for 28 yards. Damn. Yeah, it was just un. But the but the thing that'll stick with me, besides this, was the was that first field goal attempt by Robbie Gould, where he kicks the ball and it goes, it makes a left turn in midair. Damn, can I see your stat line again? Yeah, yeah. Um, I just want to see the Niners. I just want to see who y'all had on y'all's team. That's all. All right, so this is so who's uh, our running back? Is it Fred? Frank? Uh, f- this is Frank's first year. It's Frank's rookie. Yes. So our what was num- his stat line? He was he had 14 carries for 55 yards, but our number one uh, running back at the time was a guy named Kevin Barlow. I remember Kevin Barlow. Yeah, yeah. 
He, was, he also had 63 yards yeah. and 20. Oh, not a good game. Just why nobody. Oh, they had a good game. Who was this? Adrian Peterson. The other Adrian. The second Adrian Peterson. Yeah. Yeah, the, the Chicago's Adrian Peterson. Oh, that's the reason they beat y'all? Yes. So that's how, when you told me that they had the upper hand, it was him running all over y'all? Yeah, it was him 24 then, for 120 in a touchdown. That's a great game. Yeah, and, he then was the, and then the nation, Nathan Vasher played too. As well. So that, and then the, the well, also, if they're running, because this is what I'm saying, if they were running the ball that much and dominating the clock, yeah. That's how it would have felt like, oh, we don't have a chance. Yeah, yeah. We just never we just never we also were a bad team. We're running Cody Pickett. Yeah. We're like we just we were we were already the worst team in football the previous year. You is know this y'all's defense? Yes. Y'all don't even recognize any of these people. The only the only people um the only people that were any sort of good, Julian Peterson was a pro bowler that year, I believe. Um Bryant Young played on our Super Bowl team in ninety four, and then Shante Spencer was on the the good one of the good Harbaugh teams, Damn. the for the 2011. Um, he, he he in the uh, in the Saints game. He was one. Of, he was I think he was the guy who, one of the guys who uh, Jimmy Graham bounced off of <laughs> to get into the end zone during that. Damn. Play. Yeah, yeah. That guy's just a part of bad stuff, huh? Yeah, and and the the Bears Bears were six and three, but they were I remember there not being a great six and three. And what was y'all's uh, record? That we year? were two and we were two and seven. I think we ended up three and thirteen again. Maybe, maybe. Well, wow, the Bears are 63. Let me, the Bears, what were their final record that year? They make it to the playoffs? Um, let's see. Let's see what it says. 2005 Chicago Bears ended 11 and 5. Oh, they had a great year. They, they were first year. in the NFC. Damn, they, who'd they lose in the playoffs to? Yeah, let's see. They, in the playoffs, they lost the first game to the Panthers. What was, what was the score? Um, let's see, right. 21 29. Here. Mm. Yeah, 21 29. Oh, they had a great game. This was the Panthers team that lost to, um, the Pats. Uh, the Pats. And connection with my previous game, the coach of the Panthers was John Fox, who was the coach of the Broncos. Yo, wow. Actually, I'm, I got to give it to the Bears. They they had a chance this year. Yeah, they with Kyle Orton as their quarterback. I did not realize how good of a team they were that year. But they were. No, that was, sorry, that was Rex Grossman's year. It must have been Kyle. Uh, what's it called? Rex Grossman must have been uh, injured. Her, and then uh, uh, Brian Urlacher was playing too, right? Yeah, yeah. This was Urlacher's year. And they had when Moose, he was dominating. They had Moose Muhammad and Bernard Barry. Because they, the, they lose the Super Bowl next year, don't they? The Bears. Um. Yes, they lose the Super Bowl the next year. With Devin they Hester. get De- Devin Hester. Yeah. Yeah. So, oh, no, so this was a good Bears team. Yeah. Okay. I, th- I thought it was a bad Bears team. Huh. Long, so long ago. That was just a, also that that game. I get how you would think both teams were bad because yeah. I'm watching the highlights. I'm like, oh, that was bad. Yeah. Yeah. That was just a stri- memorably bad game. Hell yeah. Memorably bad game. You ready for my game too? I'm ready for your game. My game two was we were already friends. You knew I was going to this game. Yes. Yeah. yeah. This was. This was. Uh, we had already gone to a Rams game before this, too. And what happened at that exact same – and just like this game, which is so funny. Yeah. Uh, it was a schlacking. We went to the Niners, and we sat in the same seats. Yeah. It's so funny. Uh, but this time, Asan, it was me, Sam, and Asan for the Niners game. Yeah. And the Niners literally butt-raped the Rams. Yeah, it was It was like – if you look at the final score, it was a lot closer than the game would end. No, it, just, it was one of those kind of games where it was yeah. like, no, but this was a butt-raping. Yeah. You know? Now, this one, me and Sam went a little later because I wanted to take Sam to go see the Ravens, mm-hmm. and this was Lamar's – MVP year. Yes. So it was like, oh, you got to see this guy. Because I kept telling her, like, because I was like, you don't live in Baltimore anymore. But the moment, and which is so funny because she knows this now. Right. Because when you go home, it's Lamar Jackson City. Right. I imagine. Like, I'm, I'm imagining if you live in Kansas City, everything is Patrick Mahomes. So everything in Baltimore is Lamar Jackson. It's all anyone talks about, all anyone cares. It's Lamar. It's Lamar's city. Uh, and I was like, you, you need to go see this guy and why he is He's, who he is. yeah, yeah. And, I mean, I'm expecting them to beat the Rams, obviously, because the Rams aren't that good. No, not this year. They had a they had a this was they had a bad year. They had a bad year, but I'm not expecting what I saw. Mm-hmm. Lamar Jackson went the fuck off. This is one of his like, oh, he's gonna win the MVP for sure games. Yeah. This was what was his final stat line? So this is stat line passing. He's 15 for 20, 169 yards. Five touchdowns. Because I know you hear the 60 for 20, 159, 69. I know you're like, well, that's not that good. Five touchdowns. He also didn't play the second half pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> you got to throw the, the whole fourth quarter. He wasn't in the game. Yeah. Uh, uh, rushing, he also had 95 yard rushing. On, on top eight, of. On eight carries. On my eight friend. carries. So he's averaging 11 yards per rush. On top of Ingram's 111 yards rushing. Who was also dominant. Yeah, Mark, yeah. Mark was. And destroying. one touchdown. Yeah. So there were six touchdowns scored in this game. And then look at the receiving, though. Well, look at this. Look also, at how much he spread the ball around. Okay, Boykin, another- 54. Yeah, no one, no one breaks. 54 yards is the highest they have. Boykin, 54 yards. Andrews, 45 yards. Hollywood Brown, 42 yards. Seth Roberts, 39. Willie Sneed, 14. Yep. Nick Boyle, Mark Ingram, 70. Mark had a receiving touchdown. Willie Sneed had two touchdowns. Marquise Brown had two touchdowns. It was a schlacking, bro. Yeah. Like, I mean, it was the most boring game because it was at a, the Rams Stadium. Mm-hmm. So the fans are obviously by the 
by the you know, and I mean, it, it, the fourteen nothing is first quarter, fourteen nothing second quarter, so it's seven nothing third time, quarter, so. ten nothing fourth quarter. Uh, I mean, uh, no, I mean, fourteen. They only they scored two field goals in the second quarter, but the, that was after Ravens. Still, it was still twenty eight six at halftime. You know what I mean? Like, and then the Ravens scored again in the second, in the third, and then they took Lamar and them out because it was like, oh, well, this is done. Yeah, they. Yeah, oh, Lamar's stat line could have been like eight passing touchdowns and probably two more rushing touchdowns, you know, if he, if he had stayed in the whole game. Yeah, that was one of those games that I, I watched a little bit of it. I was at the Comedy Store patio, and then, like, by halftime. You had worked like, that night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, like, by halftime, I was like, oh, whatever. Were you – so were – that is cool because uh, I, I remember you going to work and you going to do potluck that night and me yeah. being like, oh, hey, I'm going to the – you know, you knew I was going to the game. Yeah. But I – because I remember you saying, oh, I'll watch it on TV because it'll be on the patio. Right. So in the beginning, how was it? Were you like, oh, Derek's at this game. Yeah, I, the whole thing I was like, what? the whole time I was like, wow, Derek's watching them fucking kill the Rams, but I'm not gonna watch any of this. It was, it was, it was over. It was over in the first watch. quarter. The yeah. only thing that was, I mean, the, the first half was exciting because Lamar. You can show the highlights. Yeah. Lamar was, I mean, well, it was phenomenal. It was one team playing football. It was eight minutes of highlights. Jesus, there's one team playing football. We can fast forward through. Yeah, yeah. There's one team playing football and the other team not playing football. Yeah. Also, so, the uniforms were fire because it was the purple and the gold. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, I mean. They just the offense is already off, so it start the already Ravens punt return. Yeah, a punt return. Look at this punt return. I remember this just immediately right there at the fifty. And just and set then the Lamar, toes. Lamar, just watch this first guy. Yeah, Lamar just Mark Ingram, huge for like a t- ten yard run. So they're at the forty. Lamar pulls it. Just I mean, just pure speed for fifteen yards. Gets him down to the goal line, drops back, and easy touchdown to Hollywood Brown. I'm, and me and Sam are sitting right over there, and they do the dance. They did this dance all night, and then I have the, I have this on video. Them doing that? Yeah. I have that on video of them doing that. And the whole game is just that. The oh, yeah. whole game is just that. I mean, there are some unreal uh, highlights of Lamar obviously in this game. Right. Because the his stat line, you're like, oh man, that's not the crazy amount of yards. It's like, yeah, but you gotta remember, he did all that in three quarters, and how exciting, how easy he did it. Right. Like the Rams had no shot. In yeah. Fucking hell, dude. No shot in hell. You know. Uh, but yeah, that was definitely one of the worst games I've been to. But also exciting because you, I mean, it was cool to see an, uh, the MVP. I've never seen that before. Yeah, yeah, the MVP of the NFL play like that. And like where you're like, oh, I get why this guy's MVP this year. Right. Like, and I, you, to see the MVP of the NFL in a season where he's being the MVP. Yeah. You it's know, pretty crazy. That's pretty cool. So I, yeah. I, I will say that that was cool to see. But yeah, this game. The was game was bad. Bad. This is I mean, bad Sam, game. Sam was even just like, oh, is it always like this? Like, well, no, normally it's not like this. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. So you only went to two blowouts. Two blowouts. Yeah. Normally yeah, yeah. the games are usually amazing. Uh, hopefully you get a good game every once in a while. Jeez. Yeah. Um. Want to do game three? Uh, my game three is. Uh, I, I. It was hard to even find recaps of this. It's not bad. The NFL tried to, to yeah. hide it. Um. So I've only been to two Monday night games in my I've been to two Monday night football games in my life. Okay. Both of them objectively bad. Okay. But the second one was uh the the second one I went to was last year. Um, you know, or two years ago, I guess now. Mm-hmm. Uh early twenty nineteen. Um Patriots Jets. Yeah. Where the you know the Sam Darnold I'm seeing ghosts. Mm-hmm. That line I went to that game. Hilarious. The drubbing. And it was it was just a funny game. Yeah, the Patriots beat the shit out of it. Yeah, it was thirty three nothing. But you went for that. Yeah. Because I remember you telling me, like, oh, I'm going to go see Tom Brady destroy them. Yeah, I'm going to go see Tom Brady play a game, and then I'm already in New York. He's in New York. The stars align. Yeah. Right? Um, the other game I went to was a uh, Monday Night Football game between Luck and Rivers. And we what, went, uh, what year? This is 2013. 2013. So yeah. you're a young, young college lad. Col- yeah, it's me and my college roommates that go because we want to see Luck. So you Okay, so uh, you guys are going to see the Colts. Yes, we're going to see – the Colts, right? Because um, we want to see Andrew Luck play. And just the game was just this. It's not that it was just a defensive battle. Because defensive battles can be good to watch. Oh, yeah. But defensive battles where nobody really scores touchdowns kind of sucks. Yeah. Like the winning team. So, like, the Were these all field goals? Uh, uh, all field goals. 19 points, 9 points, all field goals. Uh, one touchdown. There was one touchdown. It was a throw to Keenan Allen. That was a touchdown Damn. in the game. And the rest was all field goals. Indianapolis had how many field goals? I believe four. No, Indianapolis had three, and then they had, and then uh, Colts had four. So it'd just be these long, sustained drives that would end in field goals. How did the Colts score their touchdown? Colts didn't score a touchdown. They kicked three field goals. Oh, the Colts lost. Colts lost. Yeah. 
What was the stat line? Can I see the stat line? Uh, that's the thing. I couldn't find. I, no way. Oh, hold on. Let's see. Let's see. 2013 game? Uh, give me a second. You're good. Um, because I, cause, uh, it's funny. 2013, that had to be Andrew Luck's what? First year, second year? Right? I think so, yeah. So it's Andrew Luck's first year, first second year? First or second year. year. Oh, here we go. Game summary. Um, uh, there was a cool 80 yard touchdown that he threw to Darius Hayward Bay that got called back. Oh. It was that. It was like stuff like that. Um, Let's see. Yeah, Andrew Luck was 18 for 30 for 202 yards and an interception. Phillip Rivers was 22 for 33 for 237 yards and a touchdown. Well, Phillip had a decent game. Phillip had a decent game. Phillip had a decent game. Yeah, Phillip, that's not a, no, I mean, yeah, he only had completed 11. Yeah, Phillip had a good game. That's not a bad game. Yeah, no one had a, And he got the win. Uh, Keenan Allen had a great game. Nine receptions, 107 yards. And oh, you got to see Keenan Allen ball out. Yeah, yeah this is, that was his rookie year. Damn. Yeah, that's like, you remember oh. seeing, like, oh, this guy's good? Yeah, I'm like, oh, like, Keenan Allen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He had, he had a good game. But, like, so the game was just. You know, because these were two high-powered offenses. Is this the beginning of the season? This is the middle. Oh, damn, look at their records. Yeah. Oh, yeah, both their four records two, are bad. Three and three. I mean, oh, no, that's not bad. That's, that's a four bad. and two. That's not great. But these are still, these still are in playoff, these are playoff, in the playoff hunt team. Yeah. Right? And they were both high-powered offenses. Yeah. Yeah, and you know, the Colts average almost 30 points per game at this point. Damn. They have just bad defense. And they, they average, like, you know, more than that. So you guys are also thinking you're about to see a fucking An offensive shootout. game. Yeah. Or at least a blowout, yeah, something. Yeah. With and, a lot of touchdowns. Yeah. And then on top of that. What? And you can attest to this. Oh, give bro, it to me. The stadium experience in San Diego was one of the worst experiences of my life. Every time I've been there, we've watched three games there. Every game. The stadium, even uh, we went to two games together. Yep. Raiders Chargers, Rams Chargers. Yep. The games were good. The experience itself was Awful. God awful. Yeah, the fans suck. Suck. Chargers yeah. fans suck. Suck. Because they're not even Chargers fans. No. They're just fucking they're. other teams fans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the whole stadium is filled with other teams fans who mm-hmm. also – it's just awful. And the stadium's a bad stadium. Qualcomm, yeah. Qualcomm was a, a bad, bad stadium. stadium. So we sat – so the way Qualcomm was set up is that we sat on the side of the stadium where Qualcomm, the speakers are only on one side of the stadium. Yeah. And they were on our side of the stadium, and we were sitting right in front of them. This is my first game there. I don't know how this was set up. So the whole time, the speakers are just blaring into my ears. Oh, my God. Blaring into my ears, bro. And that's why you can't hear now. Yeah, yeah. I, what did you say? <laughs> um, <laughs> it was just awful. It was cold. But this was, this was my, favorite part of the, this is my favorite part of the whole thing, right? So we, we, sit, we sit through this awful game, terrible game. Hot? Is it hot? No, it's cold. Cold, cold, cold. Yeah, terrible game. I get up, my my jacket's on the seat behind me. I, 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 I just started comedy. I'm about a year into comedy at this point. Okay. Um. Well, actually, when was this? Actually, I could tell you when, uh, if it says the date. Uh, 10, yeah. 15, 20, Yeah. So I started comedy. October. I started comedy January 5th of that year. Jam. So you're almost a year in. I'm almost a year in, right? And you're like, why would I bring up comedy? Well. I turn around, I pick up my jacket, I look up, and the entire game sitting behind me, we didn't even notice, was Brian Simpson. Unfucking believable. Mm-hmm. Brian Simpson was behind me the whole game, and we didn't notice each other until I turned around, and I was like, oh, shit. And he was like, holy shit. How well did you know him at that point? I had you known couldn't him. have known I mean, I, I, you weren't friends yet. yet. No, 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 no. But I, we, we, I had known him. You had pa- you'd been like, I've seen this guy. Yeah, likes. yeah, he know, he, he's brought me up many times now. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn, that's hilarious. I wonder if he remembers that. I got to ask oh, him. Oh, he, he definitely, because I, I remember we went to Till 2 the next week, and he was just ranting about, 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 about how bad the stadium experience was. Well, yeah, they suck. Yeah. Qualcomm sucks. The Chargers suck. Mm-hmm. Everything about that's bad. Yeah. It's the opposite of the Padres experience. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But on a Padres game, you're like, man. The Padres games are amazing. <laughs> Which was a better team. Yeah, for real. <laughs> the stadium's awesome. <laughs> you, you wasted this beautiful t- stadium on such ugly colors, too. Oh, good. Um, but, yeah, that is that is the last. Uh, that's my third terrible game. That is your third worst game that you have seen either live or on television. Yeah, yeah, that is. That, that is one was ugly. live. In that, one, that one was live. I cannot. I just. Such a waste. Such so a waste. your first two were television? Yes, first two were television. And then the last one was live. Yes. My first one was live. Second one was television. Mm-hmm. And the last one, I, I said this is mine, but... This a, is ours. This is ours. Yeah. Because I picked one that me and Hassan went to together. Mm-hmm. My last one is the XFL game between the LA Wildcats and the Dallas Renegades. Final score was 25 to 18. Let me tell you something. This is how bad this game was. It was a good game. Like, the score-wise, right? It was close. 
and it was still the worst football game I have ever seen in my entire fucking life. It was terrible. I've seen so many Pee Wee football games that were better than this. And I mean, so, like, countless. Games that, I don't, I'm, not, I'm not talking about games that I played in. I'm talking about Pee Wee football games that I also just witnessed. Right. That were so much better, so much better football play calling, a better football experience. The experience sucked. Oh, yeah. It was it hot. Was super hot. The, the food, food wasn't okay. The food, food wasn't was, that good. And the football was worse than the food. I this mean, it was just okay. This was like, I've seen, yo, my high school, my high school team was bad at football, and I feel like they could have played this game. <laughs> yeah. Yo, you remember how bad the play calling was? Oh, my. Awful. First of all, XFL. The big thing is there's you can have two forward passes. That was their their big pitch. That was their big pitch. But first of all, the only like you could only do the second forward pass if your first forward pass was behind the line of scrimmage, which no one's gonna do that. Yeah. So obviously. So you mean regular football? It's just regular. So and th- I, we never saw a double forward pass because it was regular. It's just like you, all you can do is a flea flicker. Yeah, not even a flea flicker because a flea flicker isn't a forward pass. A flea flicker yeah. is a loud thing. You can do that in the NFL. Yeah, but you have to be behind the line of scrimmage, so it's like it's all pointless. It's all pointless. Really, it should be. Within the within ten yards, you can throw a second forward pass. That would make the game wild. Oh, now the play calling is it's crazy. Insane. <laughs> now you're now you're now you're setting up p- passes to set up passes. I know. Yeah. So or set up passes to set up runs. Yeah. yeah to yeah, set yeah. up like play out like like play options like yeah, where it's yeah. a pass or run. Like because now you're, you're you're a slant is two things and yeah. it's scary. A, a hook two things. Like all these short routes are two, two things. things. Yeah. Amazing. Also, they had this thing where you can go for. Kick the field goal, right? Kick the extra point. Yep. Go for two points or go for a three-point play after a touchdown. Which was awful. Which, I hated it. Which because they never – no one ever went for the three-point play. No one. Even even when it made sense for the Wildcats to be like, oh, the Wildcats need to go for a three-point play here to make it a one-score game. The Wildcats coach, who was an idiot, didn't even do that. Yep. So even even though the game is 25-18, like it's a one-score game, it really never was. And all their uniforms sucked assholes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Their, yeah. their uniforms look worse. Like I said, it was just like, this is terrible, nigga. This is like old man. All these guys are old guys who are just aren't good enough to play in the league. Mm-hmm. And like aren't – and you see why, which yeah, sucked. Yeah, yeah. One team had – the Wildcats had one good receiver. That's all I remember. I remember. I remember the receiver. Yeah. It's and like, it oh. was like, oh, that nigga can ball. And he was the only person who had plays or stats the yeah, whole game. Yeah, yeah. The game was 3 nothing at halftime. Oh, my God. It was so bad. Yeah. It was terrible. Um, we should have known it was bad when we were able to get a parking right next to the stadium. Yeah, that, that, was, <laughs> that was the most telltale sign. Yeah. Was when we, it was we, me, Sam, uh, Asan, Daddy. and Daddy yeah, we, Lockwood. And we fucking we pull up. up. We dro- and I'm talking about nigga like, like how you can pull up to this apartment complex. Yeah. <laughs> There's just park. It's just, you just park. Like, hey, bro. It'd be like, yeah, yeah, I think like, they were barking people to come yeah, in. They were like, hey, come on in. Hey, hey, we got a football game coming yeah. in. Five, five <laughs> tickets for five tickets for fifty cents. <laughs> free tickets for anyone. Uh, free tickets for anyone under the age of fifty. Yeah, yeah can get on in here, please. <laughs> Bro, it was the that shit sucked. Oh, and then but the only thing that was good about it was we ran into Bill Burr and Bill <laughs> Kreischer, and, and they knew who we were. Yeah, yeah. That and was, that was the only thing that was like, well, that made me feel good. Oh uh, yeah, other than that, it was. Awful. Because we saw, do you remember this? We saw them before. They saw, so we saw them. Yeah. And we were like, oh shit, Bill Burr and Burke Reicher are just here. And they were just walking around amongst everybody, hanging yeah. out. Like, because you only would notice them if you, you look. If you, you look. look. Yeah. Because they, they're they're famous, but they weren't like, they were dressed down. Even yeah, though it was Bill Burr. Bill Burr had hat Bill on. Bill Burr had a hat on. Mm-hmm. You know, and also this was, Burt was famous, but Burt was not as famous as he is now. Yes. Yeah. I will say that. Yeah. yeah. But Bill Burr was already. I mean, Bill Burr is Bill Burr at this yeah. time. But he had a hat on, and he was just he just looked uh, you just unassuming. Uh, but we saw him. We were like, damn, they're kind of sitting near us. And then at one point we went to go f- get food, and then we were walking back. They saw us, and they were like, yo, what up? And we were, it was that was the most gratifying. Yeah. Like, damn, what up, bro? You know what I mean? Like, oh shit! Like we're. It made me just feel like a, a comedian. It's the first time I had funnel cake. That was your first time ever having a funnel cake. Yeah. It was okay. I like funnel cake, man. It's not bad. Done right, it's great. And at the right time, yeah. funnel cake is a sweet thing that you need at the right moment. That's fair. At an L.A. Wildcats game, it's okay. <laughs> well, it would, uh, you know. Not the food. The, the food you got looked okay. Like, not the oh, food yeah, the, well, uh, it's because it's, it's not about the food. It's about the experience. Uh, it's that great Chris Rock joke where, like, a lobster dinner with an asshole is the worst dinner ever. A $1 hot dog with a good friend is the best meal you ever had. Right. This experience 
made the food even if the game would have been so fucking good and yeah. they're doing these double passes yeah. and these crazy big hits <laughs> yeah. nigga, you'd have been like this is the best funnel cake ever yeah. <laughs> because the experience lightens it up a little bit right right it's but like our experience why I, I don't like Coco because we've had we had such a bad with such a bad experience yeah, yeah. in the theaters with Mexican people <laughs> not knowing how to behave like humans <laughs> <laughs> also also the preview you say what? The preview. Remember the preview gave away the most oh important part God, of the movie? Oh, my God, bro. That is so fuck. Yo, yo, that would be like going to see the movie The Prestige, and in the preview they're like, and Christian Bale has two twin brothers. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Christian Bale is secretly a twin, and you're like, well, I guess I'll watch this movie. And then there's a Mexican baby crying. And then, and then, and then, and then, the, and then the family doesn't take the baby out. They no. just shush the baby they like, shush. like they the baby's the asshole. <laughs> yo, they told the baby <laughs> at one point that they were like, Paquito, shut up! <laughs> <laughs> it's like, dude, that is a two-month-old yeah, child. It's a baby, dude. God, you fucking ruined the movie. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> also, why in an empty theater do you sit right next to us? What's that all about? Yo, I was so <laughs> yo, I've never been so I, I almost changed the name of our podcast, bro, because I didn't want to associate with Venus anymore. <laughs> That's a man. Oh, damn. Damn. And have you watched Coco since? Yeah, it's amazing. Yeah, I bet. I've watched it a couple times since. It's fucking I bet. I have to. I really need to watch it again. It's like, such a beautiful film. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That'd be so funny if I'm just in my house and just this Mexican family sits yeah. next to me. El Pollo Loco. I don't think that's what he's singing. Yeah, he, does. he goes, El Pollo Loco. <laughs> I don't. Yeah, I don't. <laughs> oh, God. But yeah. That is why Game of Thrones season eight sucks. <laughs> yeah, for real, dude. <laughs> <laughs> that is all that I think about that. Oh, this episode was pretty much Game of Thrones season eight, but in sports version. <laughs> yeah, I mean, no. It's a letdown. I will say this: at least, at least the a Niners Bears game, I wasn't like uh, the Super Bowl was. That was Game of Thrones. Niners Bears wasn't Game of Thrones. I, 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 the Niners were a terrible team. If you expected this, the XFL game, to be Game of Thrones, then you had some issues going on. There's no way you thought the XFL game was going to be great. We thought it was I did, be, no, no, I did. I thought it was going to be fun. We thought it was going to be fun. I thought it was going to be fun. Yeah, we weren't expecting it to blow our minds. Because I was expecting to see like an arena league level f- blowout. I was yeah, like, oh, yeah, yeah. the final score is probably going to be like 60 to 10. Yeah. Or some crazy cool Have number. You know, been doing an arena league game? No, but they look oh. more exciting than this dumb shit. Bro. I went to a really game. First of all, the opening thing, the, the national anthem, but afterwards they had a guy in a motorcycle jump, do a jump. Well, that that's was better pretty, than sports. That was pretty cool. And then yeah, you and can't have something better than the game. Actually. <laughs> yeah, so that was before the game. And then and then the game they scored like hundred and fifty points or whatever the fuck. You know, you know how the fuck yeah. you know it was like the end score was like seventy two to yeah, 61. Yeah, because like you can like you can just like throw the ball into the net and like <laughs> and that try counts, to catch that it. counts. Yeah, that absolutely counts. <laughs> but why isn't the XFL doing that? I don't know. It's, dude, the, that really game I went to was so much fun and this was the exact Bro, there should be in the xfl there should be a trampoline <laughs> right by the field goal and if you score and hit the trampoline and jump over there Jack, <laughs> it's like more points like yeah, yeah, it yeah. should be it should be crazy there should be shit. crazy there should be trampolines there should be hidden trampolines all over the field nigga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And like and like they spring up like so you'll be running sometimes and, boom, yeah. and like, you get thrown like 30 <laughs> yards <laughs> or like a like a like a you know the they, the the game officials determine. Ooh, this is a point zone. So if you catch mm-hmm. a ball in here, you get like four points. Oh, and yo, check this out <laughs> in the XFL. One of the officials is secretly a player for one of the teams, uh, and you don't know when he's gonna yeah, decide. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They, they, to can like you. they can activate him. <laughs> both both teams have one that official. One official. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me that's not the most live shit. Because you think you're you think your guys like breaking away a touchdown for a kick return and yeah. they hit a button yeah. and the referee fucking yeah. <laughs> goes, goes. It's like it goes for a fat catch. <laughs> and sometimes it can be the same official. Yeah, bro, you don't Yeah, yeah you don't know, you have no idea. You just told before the game that this is your official. Twice. You can activate it twice. It's like a challenge. Yeah, like bu- those you know those Buffalo Wild Wings commercials yeah. where the guys like click the thing and yeah, like and, there's a button in that. Yeah, that's one coach's job, yeah. though. Bro, they would make the XFL. It would be bigger than the NFL. That dude, yeah. If, if they, they had f- tigers what, and shit. Yeah, what's the... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like on Gladiator, tigers come out. Yeah. <laughs> you never know when a hatch yeah. is going to open up a tiger. Yeah, comes out. <laughs> Damn, dude. We should be the commissioners of this league, dude. Well, no, the Rock is now, so hopefully I mean, it's better. I mean, uh, yeah, hopefully it's better. But something tells me it's just going to be the same thing that's just a giant promo for his tequila. <laughs> 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 I mean, let's be honest here. That's what it's gonna Dear be. Mama. Yeah, yeah. It's gonna be the same level of play, but everyone, yeah, everyone will have to. It, it, you know how they did the live interviews? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
<laughs> so some, Yo, guy, so they, some guy has a concussion and then has to talk to the world. Yo, I remember they, they, they pulled people like on the sideline during the XFL. Yeah. And they would interview them during the game. Yeah. That was like supposed to be the cool thing. <laughs> yeah. And then they did it. And of course, one guy, I think mean, they stopped when one guy was like, this fucking bullshit ass motherfucking bitch ass motherfucker. Yeah. And they were like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're in the middle of, they're in the middle of a game. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, for the XFL, and that's what the XFL, the Rock's XFL is going to say the same, but in. In the live interview, they had to be like, this bullshit motherfucking game brought to you by Toronto's, Toronto's Tequila. And make sure you watch Young Rock. Yeah, make sure you watch Young Rock on NBC. <laughs> <laughs> it's just going to be a giant promo. In the, in the, 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 the end zones will just be Jumanji 3. It won't even, even be the team name. It'll just... <laughs> It'll be whatever movie he's got. Yeah, right. Like, like one is all Jumanji fairy 3. One is, yeah, yeah. No, it's, just, it's all his old movies. So it's just like the Tooth Fairy. And the game plan. San Andreas. Faster. Yeah. <laughs> slower. That was one of the movies. Yeah. I think he did faster and slower. Oh, oh God man. damn. Oh, that would be good if he did make the, t- like, it, the team. It would have to be like, yeah. The LO, the LA San Andreas is or whatever. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Every team was named after one of his movies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Dallas Tooth Fairies. Or I would like that. That would be cool. That'd be cool. I the would Florida, genuinely the like Florida it. Jumanjis. That's a pretty fire name. Yo, dude, I'm loving this, bro. Yeah, yeah. Oh my god, the Orlando Walking Talls. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah baby. Yeah. I'm loving this, bro. <laughs> Uh, the New Jersey fighting with my family, even the cameos, even gets <laughs> the cameos. In there. <laughs> <laughs> big ass league. Yeah, a lot of has a lot of t- hey, it's the rocks, you know. <laughs> <laughs> He's got to promote. <laughs> oh fuck! Man, uh, this is so much fun. We have to do this again. Yeah. Uh, blow- the camera went out. Did it? Yep. Well, we're still recording here. Okay. Well, okay. that's the end anyway. That's it just yeah, went out. It so. just went out. I don't know Sorry, what happened. Sorry, you guys uh, won't see the end of this, but we right. love you. But yeah, yeah. Uh, hey, the, the, the perfect ending. Yeah, well, I guess it ended it for I guess the camera yeah. said, you're done. Yeah, you're done. <laughs> it's, uh, the Rock heard us and was like, shut it down. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you guys, infidels and beaners later. Right? Yeah, we'll see you later. Another crossover. Successful. Yay, beaner dells. I like how you keep looking at the camera. There's no, it's it off. Not, hey, I got to look at something. <laughs>